Blue hives are one of the three main hive colors to choose from in Bee Swarm Simulator. They are the best starting hive color because it's very affordable and you can earn trillions of honey if you can do it correctly. Most of the top daily honey making leaderboards are often blue hives macroing. Recently, it has gotten some new changes about it, completely changing the entire aspect of it. Well, this video is going to teach you all how to create and become a proper blue hive in the new update. The basics of the blue hive is honestly not that hard to learn. There's only two ways that you're going to be making honey as a blue hive. Boosting, and more importantly, macroing. If you already know how to macro, skip to part 2 and to look for the best settings for macroing. First, you want to go to the first link in the description which brings you to the Nature Macro Discord server. You will join it and look for the Nature Macro tab and download the most recent version. As of April 7th, 2024, the most recent version is version 1.0.0.1. You're going to download the most recent version, extract the folder, and open the exact extracted folder. Click where it says start, and now that I have everything in macro, it's time that I teach you how to properly macro and also how to optimize it as much as possible. There are multiple macro settings for multiple different reasons. The main one we're going to be focusing on is honey production. We are required to set our field destination to pine, and for beginners, we should set up the macro pattern to be elol, making sure that the gather with shift lock is on with drift comp. The length is m for medium, and width is 3. The rotation of the camera is left and 2. We should be in the field for either 10 or 15 minutes, or when the bag reaches either 95 or 100%. For beginner blue hives, we should go to the hive by walking, but if you are more advanced and probably have more instant conversion, resetting might also be an option, but it's preferred to have it as walk for everyone. Editing reg valk here. Uh, before I continue, I'll say you should set the sprinkler starting location to be at center and a distance at four. That's just really all I wanted to say. All right, back with the video. If you want more advanced patterns, you can look for custom ones in the Nature Macro Discord server. In the collect slash kill tab, we should turn on Mondo for around a minute or two and collect the wealth clock. In the boost tab, we can set our hotbar to use an item whenever after a certain time. Usually a blue extract would be helpful to make more. In the planters, you can either customize it or let the macro do it for you manually. Everything else in the other tabs are up to you. Now it's time for the actual hive build. Here's generally the most common hive build as a blue hive. So you should have one basic bee, one bumblebee, one cool bee, one looker bee, one stubborn bee, one commander bee, one bubble bee, one bucko bee, one frosty bee, one shock bee, one diamond bee, one ninja bee, three to four music bees, one fuzzy bee, one gummy bee, one tabby bee, one festive bee, and bear bee. Now here is where you can adjust with your mythics. You should run between 10 to 12 tadpoles and 17 to 20 buoyants. Some good optional bees to run with this hive build are Windy Bee for the extra token collection and pollen, Digital Bee if you have it upgraded quite a bit, Cobalt if you need more instant conversion, and Puppy Bee for leveling up bees with the gifted ability. Now that you understand the basic hive build, now we need to understand the amulets. Amulets are one of the most important things in your blue hive, and they can change how much you make by a lot. And I mean by a lot. Let's start off with the most important one, the SSA. For our main passive, we obviously need to run Popstar, and along with that, we're going to need more blue pollen, convert rate, pollen, critical chance, and bar, also known as B ability rate. Once you have those requirements on your SSA, you're going to want to get these stats as high as possible and maybe get a second passive. Usually the best is Star Shower as the second passive. The rest of the passives will be shown on screen for you to see. So here's the Am Amulet, the Stick Bug Amulet, Moon Amulet, Cog Amulet, King Beetle Amulet, and the Shell Amulet. 
Well, that's really it for amulets. Now it's time for... Mutation and Bequips aren't a big impact unlike the amulets are, but they are something that you should consider adding when you're a blue hive. For mutations, you want to have convert amount on your buoyants, tadpoles, diamond, gummy, and tabby bee. Almost every other bee is going to have either bar, which is bee ability rate, or if you're a beginner, you might want to also get gather amount. For bee clips, the main ones you're going to need are a sweatband if you have digital bee, two pine cones for bumble and bear, three beesmas tree hats for buoyant, elf caps for tabby and buoyant, camp for a lip balm for bubble, three bubble lights for tadpoles, a charm bracelet for music, candy ring for gummy, autumn hat for looker, toy drum for bucko, kazoo for either buoyant or shock bee, whistle for commander, toy horn if you have cobalt, snow tiara for diamond or if you have it, windy bee, festive wreath for festive, and if you want reindeer antlers for puppy bee, that is perfectly fine too. That was quite a long list, but now we have... Nectars aren't an important topic really. You should really want to keep these three nectars, which are comforting, satisfying, and motivating. Invigorating and refreshing aren't as important as the other three. If you want to get them quick and easy, then macro at the planters tab, and the plus at the top right, set the nectars to the top three most important ones, which are the ones I mentioned, to around 70 to 90%, and you can easily main the three most important nectars. That was really quick and short, but it goes along with... Boosting as a blue hive might be a little difficult at first, but once you get it and understand how to do it, it should be easy to plan and do a boost properly. First, you want to make sure they have around 6x bubble bloat, and if you have the tide popper, as much tide blessing you can get, because those two are really important and are very beneficial. You would also want the three main nectars, comforting, satisfying, and motivating like I said before. Donating to the wind shrine for winds is a really good idea, especially when you're donating one purple potion to get decent blue field winds. Mainly the field you're going to be boosting in is pine, but it's also a possibility that you might boost in stump. So you would want to use a glitter, wait a minute, then start using the dice before the field boost ends, you could use another glitter. So you can keep the boost going. A little bonus, but when you're converting, you might also want to equip the honey mask, and you're probably confused why I said that. It's a mid-game mask. Well, the conversion and convert rate will allow us to get more honey, and we need that. That's really it with the basics of boosting. You could pop items like extracts, purple potions, even super smoothies, or anything like that. Even boosting with friends, like you see in the background footage, is very beneficial. Yeah, that's me right there boosting. Anyway, let's move on into the newer things. The sticker stack is one of the more newer things inside of Beast Swarm Simulator, and it could change things up quite a bit with its buffs. I'm going to be showing the main stickers for each of these buffs, but the stickers you want to be looking for with these buffs are Convert Rate, Honey at Hive, Bubble Pollen, Blue Bee Convert Rate, Capacity, Instant Conversion, Honey per Pollen, and lots more to the point this section would be really long and it would probably be like half the video. Well, that's really it. Some mistakes that people make as a Blue Hive are not having the proper stats on amulets or having the right stats but with little to no percent. In my opinion, it's better to look for a 2 or 3 out of 5 with decent or good stats first than a 4 or 5 out of 5 with bad stats. This is generally the most common one I see, but another problem is the actual high build. People usually either under or overfill depending on what's happening with you. So if you're overfilling, then you want to get more instant conversion with either a gifted cobalt or photon. And if you're underfilling, you might want to put a gifted chai bee in there. Another problem that is most likely going to happen with everyone is not making a lot of honey while macroing. Solution? Just change your hive build by improving it or changing the bees, or change the pattern and make more honey. That's it. Well, 
those are just some of the common ones. If you have more, comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Well, this is it. You watched the whole video and you probably now understand the basics of the Blue Hive or new things you probably never knew about it. Ana made a bunch of changes with this hive color, especially with this recent update, but it was adjustable and fixed the entire thing. If you enjoyed this guide, I would appreciate that you would hit that like button and subscribe button. And with that, I will see you all in my next video.